Today, I want to go over our Proteus plates, which we offer for both the Thermocell MR150, which is a little bit older model, and then the MR300. And uh, again, I, this video, I just basically want to cover, you know, what, what you're going to be expecting, you know, getting it in. This is basically how you're going to get both of these. Um, but there is a little difference on how you install it, um, just based on how Thermocell change their their body a little bit here uh, it, it's real simple but i figured the the more you guys know the better off you'll you'll feel about buying it you know and, and kind of more of what you're getting so to start off i'm just going to kind of move the the mr300 out of the way here and focus on the mr150 again the, the little bit older older version of thermosel um, again this is how you're going to see it come in the mr150 we end up utilizing two zip ties to attach the proteus plate to the thermosel body um, but you'll see here on this one, there's a little tab right, right here. All you're doing there is this top, top opening here, this little bracket. You're just sliding that, that thing in. You'll feel it snap in. After that, you'll see these two channels on the sides here. There's one on each side of the plate. All you're doing there is making sure this is, this is still snapped all the way up. You're taking your zip ties, which again, we include both zip ties. Um, pushing it through the slots. Eventually you'll get it to get it to go through there. Um, obviously you're just tightening it down. Most times I'll get I'll get it just snug on the one side. Um, again, you're just gonna repeat repeat this on the other side, and then you're just gonna end up taking a, a small little side cutter is what I have here. It, the nice thing with this, you can find them on Amazon for cheap, like two for nine bucks or something, but um, you'll cut, you'll end up cutting the, your zip ties and stuff nice and flush. You don't have a, you're not taking a, a razor blade and almost cutting your finger off every time. Um, this is real nice for, for zip ties or anything else you want to cut clean. It's got a, a nice flush blade on it. Um, again, do it to both sides. And at that point, you're, you're ready to rock. Um, it's, Again, a 30 second installation and it's, you know, once it's on there, it's, it's not coming off till you cut the two zip ties. Um, but just to go over some of the features of this one, um, again, both the MR300 and the 150 have the same built in three attachment options. Um, so real similar in that respect, they just look a little differently as, as far as how they're laid out and how, how the body looks. Um, this is what we call our shock bead. Some of these, um, a lot of, or I shouldn't say a lot of you, but some of you guys um, are going to end up using this more than others as far as using a saddle or say your, your tree stand safety harness. Um, this shock beat ends up working with the one inch webbing loops on your saddle or again, your safety harness for your tree stand. Um, again, you, you can see um, if you check out some of the pictures um, for this on the website, you can kind of see there's a picture for both the MR300 and the 150, how this is utilized with the webbing. Um, you can check that out. That's again, one of the three options. Second option is shock cord. So you'll see here, there's this little channel here. That's basically, and anytime you want to wrap this around something, you know, be it a, a tree limb or a camping chair leg or, or whatever you guys can wrap this around. Um, basically all you're doing is taking it and hooking it on there. Now with this shock bead, you know, you kind of need to keep that to one side and again, just wrapping around, hooking on the hook, and you're set. The third option is the, the carabiner loop here. Um, again, you want to attach it to your backpack, or again, if it, you, you want to use it with your, your one-inch webbing loops on your backpack or um, your saddle, tree stand, safety harness, stuff like that, the carabiner loop is nice. Um, again, it, you don't need a real big carabiner, so I made the loop um, quite small, but... Again, it's, 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 you're talking about a real light unit here. So you don't need a, a big carabiner, something nice and small, um, if that's something you like. Um, again, that's the three options on there. You can get real creative with, with all three of them. So that pretty much covers the, the 150. Now, this out of the way more here. The MR300, Thermocell actually incorporated two little channels here which was kind of nice um, for incorporating something like this. Basically all you're doing, you'll see on the bottom here, you've got these two tabs. That's gonna go against the body of the thermocell. 
put it in both those channels, snap it down. Now you don't want to push, push too hard down, but you kind of want to push down and then also push up at the same time. So it bottoms out on the top of the channels here, each side. Once it's bottomed out, you want to hold it up with one thumb and there's two studs on here. I'll show you here. There's two studs up on top of this, this mount here. Basically, you're locking those into these hexagon holes on the bottom here. But you want to push up on here, make sure it's all the way up in the slots. Lock in the one side, lock in the other side, you hear it snap in. At that point, it's, it's locked in. So that one's a little more simple as far as installation goes. You don't have any zip ties to worry about. Um, again, we're utilizing the, the built-in channels on the back of the thermosil. Same, same features, you get the shock bead, shock cord, and the carabiner loop um, on the MR300 unit. Um, so yeah, it's it's again quick and simple. Now again with, with this one, it's say you wanted to take this plate off of here. You know all you're doing is taking a small little flathead screwdriver, popping it under each corner that those studs are mounted on, lifting it up, sliding it back, popping it off, done. Uh, I'll have the links for for both of these plates depending upon which thermosel unit you have um, in the description below in the video here. Uh, if you guys have any more questions on, on any of this stuff or any other products, again, feel free to reach out. Social media, Instagram, Facebook, um, YouTube. Otherwise, on, on the website itself, there's a, an info at unchartedinnovationsinc.com. Um, you can get a hold of me that way with email. I'll get back to you um, with any of your, your questions you guys have with more answers and some more details if you guys have any questions. So, yeah, again, uh, thanks for uh, all the support and uh, look forward to getting some more of this stuff out there to you guys.